What's up y'all? It is Allie and I am back with another video for you. And number one, just because they're sitting here all clean and beautiful. I just want to show you guys, I cleaned all my beauty blenders and all my brushes last night. And they are making me so happy. Um, anyways, I am still using the brush cleaner that I got from TJ Maxx, just in case you guys were wondering about that. So, today, number one, I'm going to use some new products that you have probably seen around YouTube already, but I just got them in my possession. So, I am going to test those out for you. And that does include two different Cody Airspun powders. So you guys know my tried and true, just the normal translucent one. Well, I went to buy another one. And I found out that there is a translucent extra coverage. So I had to get that to try it out for you guys. To let you guys know if there is a real difference or not. And yeah. So... I also am going to be testing out the CoverGirl Matte Made foundation that you have been seeing everywhere. Um, I'm super excited about it because I actually tested it out last night and I'm in love. But I just wanted to film a video to let you guys know about my opinion on all of these. I also picked up this CoverGirl True Naked Dazed palette. So, my reasoning behind this is because I'm sure you guys have seen the Laura Lee Party Animal Palette because it's incredible. So, I did not get it before it sold out this time. So, I got that to try to hold me over until I can get it. But, some of the shades in this palette need a little bit of like love and care. To get them to work because I really don't know how. Like, I really don't know how I'm supposed to get them to work. So, first of all, I need the Mario Badescu spray because I haven't used it in a while. I feel like I excessively. excessively coat my face in it but that's okay because that just makes my face red so the shade I got is classic ivory because I'm whiter than snow so I'm sure you guys have seen those videos that like your Instagram followers choose your makeup so you do like the different questions and your Instagram stories and your followers like respond and pick your makeup for you so I've been thinking about doing that so if you guys would like to see that let me know down below so I can make the questions also as always if there are any videos you would like to see be sure to so that I can work on getting those out for you um, like I have said in the last few videos I am trying to be more consistent, do more of what you guys like and less of what I like because what I like might not be what you like. So anyways, um, I didn't tell you guys the Maybelline Adri Wine Concealer is what I just used. And now I am going to use the Extra Coverage Airspun Powder set it with um if you guys don't know cody airspun powder is supposedly a really good dupe for the laura mercier translucent powder 
I cannot attest to that because I've never had the Laura Mercier powder. But I can say that I honestly get a lot more compliments on how smooth my makeup looks when I use this powder. Because it does give you a really airbrushed finish. And I absolutely love that. So I know some people kind of freak out because like almost $10 for a setting powder but it is so worth it. Number one. You get this whole container full. I held it up way too high. This whole thing. Like hold it. Pretty sure I probably paid close to the same price for this. Not even sure this was filled up when I got it but you get my point like you get your money's worth in these these babies I still have my little empty over here that I just used the last little bit of the other day so for contour I am going to use the Anastasia powder contour kit um, if you guys don't have this, you can more than likely go pick it up at your local TJ Maxx because that's what I did. So, I would just like to point out that yes, I do typically use either the Kat Von D or the Anastasia contour kits on my channel not because I believe that you have to have expensive makeup for it to look good not for any of that um, I honestly just got them at TJ Maxx for like 20 and 25 dollars each and when it's that cheap you can't really turn it down so I didn't and I love them um, I'm sure there are a lot of drugstore powders drugstore contour products and things that are also going to be as good as those I don't doubt it at all I am just currently using them because I spent my money on them so I'm gonna use them you know what I'm saying so I got this feisty blush from ipsy Um, also, yes, I know I do put, put my blush on really weird. It's not supposed to go exactly over your contour or whatever. I've had a million people tell me that, but that is just the way I do it, so I'm not really sure why. I just do. So right now I am using the TARDIS Pro Glow Highlight and Contour Kit. She gets you real glowing. Um, strobe right up here. She gets you good. So honestly before I embarrass myself on camera trying to use this whole palette for you. I am just going to give you the little realization that I came to myself last night. So, as you can see, these two blue colors right here are used and a little abused. So last night I was trying to do a cool, you know, like a party animal look with the blues and it just went on really patchy and when you tried to blend out the edges it just took most of the pigment away which I wasn't really I don't know I feel like that's not supposed to happen so I just kind of made up my own little Fix for it. I took off the blue, what was left of it, and honestly, I'm 
just taking a soft like white color to set that concealer on my eyes I know my brows are kind of weird right now guys I'm I'm not even gonna talk about it so what I did was I took some of rustic from the soft glam palette I feel like I use this palette all the time on my channel but it is my tried and true one go-to palette. Oh, I got that wrong shade. If it looks a little darker, I accidentally dipped it in Cypress Umber which i guess i just skipped a step on that because that is the next step also my little um ipsy blending brushes that i used all the time before i got my morphe brushes are super stain dirty so that's awesome I'm just gonna take a little bit of Cypress Umber. So here lately I have been pretty obsessed with really smoky eye looks, which I guess is why this whole black ordeal is happening so next I am just going to take a little flat brush and get the orange color from this palette So I'm not sure if you guys can see very well the actual transition between those, but I promise it's there. Um, still need to do my eyebrow. So ever since I tried this Sugar Beauty eyebrow pencil. I've been using it a lot. So there are my super crooked brows. So also here lately I have been doing colorful eyeliner so I am going to apply some mascara off camera and I will be right back all right y'all so I put on some mascara as you can see I put it back in the drawer I used the benefit roller lash and For lips, I am going to use Mother from Kat Von D. And I am going to grab a little bit of gloss. Alright, that is the end of this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said before, leave me a comment down below of what you would like to see more of or less of or really anything that tells me anything. <laughs> Thank y'all so much and I'll see you in the next video.